What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we got some brand new teasers for the Caldera Pacific map for Call of Duty Warzone, which is actually coming next week. And with this, we got a full map overview, as well as the names of all of the locations and the different points of interest around the map, as well as this parody sort of a trailer that's showing off the Pacific as if it were some sort of a resort that you're going to be visiting. And with this, we see a ton of different areas of the map. So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys a direct size comparison between Caldera and Verdansk, which is the current Warzone map. And then I wanted to highlight and go over a bunch of new changes that are coming to the gameplay experience in Warzone that they've just recently highlighted in a blog post surrounding Warzone Pacific. And let's just start it off with the map overview of Caldera. As we can see here, Caldera is an island in the Pacific here. So you're not going to be blocked off by mountains or anything. All of the boundaries of the maps are simply going to be the coastline surrounding the island. And we can see 15 named locations on this map. Starting it off at the top, we have Arsenal, which you can see it looks like it's a dry dock of some sort. Then right on the northern tip of the island, we've got the docks area, as you can see here, which it appears we're going to have a version of shipment in this area as well. After that, moving clockwise around the map, we've got our runway area, and this isn't the main runway, this isn't the airfield, it's just a small dirt runway, but it looks like you can find planes here as well, at least in Vanguard Royale. Then we have the beachhead area here, which looks like it's quite a big open area. After that, we have the subpen, and it looks like this is actually going to potentially be a remake of subpens from World at War, not from Vanguard. After that, moving to the southeast area of the map, we've got the resort area, which it looks like there's going to be quite a large building that we can be fighting in in this area. After that, at the southern tip of the island, we have the capital, of course, and this is going to be the biggest urban area on the map, as far as we can tell. And continuing clockwise toward the southern tip of the map, we've got the power plant area, which kind of connects to the capital, and this one is definitely more of an open area. Continuing on, we've got the airfield, which is where it looks like most of the planes are going to be spawning. Again, this is obviously quite a large open area, but there's some big hangars here as well. Then on the western side of the map, we have the lagoon area, the village area, and then finally the ruins area of the map. And that covers the full perimeter of the map. Now let's just get into the interior areas. We've got the mines here, obviously. These are the phosphate mines. We've got the peak, which is at the peak of a volcano. I'm sure we're going to see some activity with that throughout the year. And then finally, for our last point of interest, this is the largest point of interest. This is just called fields, and this is a giant open area, but there are buildings scattered throughout. So there we have it. That's an overview and sort of a tour of the Caldera map. Now I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison to scale versus the current Warzone map, Verdansk. And it turns out when I make this to scale based on the legend, they are nearly identical in size. So this map isn't going to be any bigger or smaller than Verdansk. It's going to be pretty much the same. And just an alternate way of looking at this, this is what it looks like if you just overlay the outline of Verdansk on Caldera which just further proves that we've got roughly the same play space with this new map. So there we have it. That's the new map. That's what it looks like. That's the size comparison with Verdansk. Now let's talk about the changes that are going to be coming to Warzone's gameplay with the Pacific update next week. And the first big set of changes that's coming to Warzone with the Pacific update is they are nerfing Dead Silence. They are completely eliminating stopping power rounds from the game. And they said they're also at least looking into nerfs to the stun grenades and the heartbeat sensors, which is great news. Personally, I was hoping they would just eliminate the heartbeat sensor, but at least they're taking looks into nerfing those. Also, the dual wield melee weapons, the Kali sticks and the side, they're going to be nerfing those ones. And also, it looks like they're going to be nerfing the weapon melee damage as well. If you melee somebody with the butt of your gun, it's not going to be dealing as much damage as it currently is in Warzone. On top of this, a huge change is coming to the loadout system in Warzone, and this is with your loadout drop markers, you can only buy them from buy stations after that initial set of free loadout drops come into the map. This is quite an interesting change that is going to hold back those really high skill squads from getting that early jump on everybody else and just sweeping through everyone before they can get their loadouts. Which I'm not really sure how I feel about that one. I get that it's trying to create more of a level playing field to prevent those really skilled clans or those really skilled players from getting that huge early jump on people. So it's a bit more of a level playing field early on. But at the same time, being able to loot effectively so that you can get that loadout drop right away, that's a huge part of the skill of Warzone. And that's an important part of setting yourself up for success throughout the match is making sure you get your loadout drop before anyone else does. And everybody's got the same opportunity to do that, so I don't think I love this change, but at the same time, I see what they're going for with it, and it may have an overall positive impact for the average player out there and their gameplay experience. 
Now, on top of all this, it looks like they're going to be buffing most of the lethal equipment. They're also going to be buffing the snapshot grenade. And the stim shot's going to now start applying a slight movement speed boost when you activate it as well. So lots of changes come into equipment as well, which is great news. And I hope this shakes the gameplay up even just a little bit. That would be great. After that, they're making adjustments to gas masks, so they're not going to be interrupting as many actions as they currently do in Warzone. So it looks like they're just going to make it so it favors you being in combat rather than taking off your mask. So if you're actively like aiming down sight and shooting at somebody, it's not going to force you to take off your gas mask when you get into the circle. Which to me at least makes complete sense. Like obviously the gas is deadly, but I'm pretty sure the guy that is actively shooting you with a gun is more dangerous than that gas. So that's nice to see and that should hopefully reduce some frustration. Now, on top of this, they are finally bringing those explosive canisters to the map. Now, these have actually been in Warzone for a very long time, and they were actually active for like one or two days in Warzone a very, very long time ago. You can just find these canisters around the map. You can pick them up, and you can throw them, and then they'll explode. But for whatever reason, they were there for like a day or two, and then we never saw them again. Looks like those are coming in with Caldera. And it turns out it looks like there will be no swimming added to this map. A lot of people were speculating that they would add the swimming mechanic. They're not doing that. Instead, all of the water areas that are within the playable space of the map, so obviously not the ocean part, but within the island itself, it's going to be shallow enough that you can wade through it. Now, finally, when it comes to gameplay-related changes that they've outlined within this new blog post that we haven't seen before, at least, there are going to be brand new contracts and public events that are going to be happening in-game. The first one they talk about is the Supply Drop Contract, which will airlift a valuable crate onto the map for anyone to pick up, but its exact location is only revealed by the contracted squad. So the squad that picks up that contract, they'll be able to see exactly where it's dropping, whereas everybody else has to kind of guess and probably look to the sky to see roughly where it's going to be dropping if they want to try and steal it. Then they've got one called Big Game Bounty which targets the operator with the highest kill count on the map. We don't know all the details on this. They purposely kept it quite vague, but that's a very interesting contract, and I kind of like the idea of that, at least to some extent. And then there's just going to be brand new public events coming to the map as well, which they didn't get into great detail with this. We'll just have to wait and see what happens over time. And with that, that pretty much covers it for all of the new information we got today when it comes to Caldera. Of course, just a reminder, this is going to be launching next week, December 8th, for anybody that owns Vanguard. And then it will be opened up for everyone else that doesn't own Vanguard on December 9th. So you do get that 24-hour early access if you currently own Vanguard. And with that, that's pretty much it. That's going to wrap it up for today's video. Of course, I want to know what you guys are thinking about all of this information in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the fact that Caldera is essentially exactly the same size as Redansk? What do you think about the looks of the new map? And what do you think about these gameplay changes that they outlined in the blog post? Just let me know all of those thoughts down below. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.